I'm putting together this quick little video. I have some folks who are curious about how I stop radio noise in my Ultra Cub. And uh, I use some magnetic cores, they're called ferrite cores, to do the trick. And uh, they work real well. It turned out pretty nice. And let me show you uh, the problem I was having, and I'll show you how I fixed that up. Okay, so here's my panel. And you can see right here, this is my radiant altimeter. And let me show you here, turn on the power. Now, once that comes on, there we go, it starts putting out a lot of noise. So, turn on the radio here. Of course, I'm not a fan of one-handed operation on the video, but I'm just kind of forced into it for this. So right now, you're not hearing any interference. Uh, if I take the squelch and drop it down, the squelch zero, there's one. And if I take the radio, I get up close to that radiant altimeter. That was the problem that I kept having. And as I was working on a plane, anytime I'd get the antenna, you know, I'd be out here, you know, a couple, two, three feet away from the airframe. As I got closer to the airframe, I'd get within about 18 inches, I would start getting a lot of radio noise. Uh, same, same like you hear here. And, you know, I had to crank the squelch up. So there's six. I mean, that's, I was up to seven on that squelch trying to kill down that noise. And obviously that makes it difficult for radio communications. So now I got the squelch set on one and I have no noise. So this is a huge improvement. Uh, like I said, it was, it was all over the, the cabin here, anywhere that I had a metal surface. I even went so far as to build a bracket to put out here on this end of my strut tube. And I learned that carbon fiber actually will help radiate that radio noise. So, needed to get it fixed. Um, you know, and, and I tried a couple of things. Another thing that I, that I wanted to do was put a mount right here aft of the cabin. And when I hooked in the wires, got that all set up, I also had radio noise. Again, that signal from the radiant altimeter was being transmitted all throughout the airframe. So we'll take a peek over here. Just want to show you really quick what it's like here behind my panel. So this is the altimeter here. This yellow wire, I finally figured out this is for a dimmer actually. So if you're using this altimeter on an experimental airplane, you're going to be flying in dusk or evening conditions. Uh, you can use this to dim the display. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm wired in to the bus back there. And what I was having is that my wire that leads to the altimeter was acting as a great big transmitter antenna going to the bus and radiating around all of the wiring, making my cabin then a great big radio transmitter. What you see right here is the ferrite core that I installed. And what this is doing is it's this is still going to radiate a signal through here, but when it hits this ferrite core, that is going to stop the signal. And I don't have it going back to the bus, and it's not going all over the airframe, and you can see that my radio is now normal, which is very nice. So I've got some examples here, and I'll, I'll show you how that works and how I got that installed. Okay, so what you see here is three examples of ferrite cores. Um, you know, they're ferrite, right? They're metal, ferrous, iron, <laughs> and uh, they're a weak magnet. So these things are not very strong. When you put them together, they'll stick to each other. Um, but they are, you know, just uh, 
a core then with that weak magnetic field that's going to help eliminate that field. So you've seen this kind before. Um, this is commonly used like in computer equipment. Um, I actually had one. This is my cable for my uh, for my headset. And as an attempt to get rid of that noise, I made a couple of wraps around this, put it in there like that, and close this up. And again, you know, any radio signal, any any noise that was you know coming through this cable is going to hit this core, and it's going to stop at this point. It's going to interrupt that radio path. So that's one too big for the uh, uh, application that I had. In fact, I'm going to take it off my headset now because um, the problem is solved. So there's the, the big one that you've seen before. Uh, at the store, they just had these two. Uh, this is that scientific science and surplus store in Milwaukee. Uh, they just had these two on, uh, on their rack, so I grabbed a couple of each. They were cheap. This one was 50 cents. These ones were 20 cents. So nice cheap solution. And, and what you'll do with something like this is, so I've got a black and white wire here, right? So this would be your wire in the uh, airplane. And it's very simple. You take and make a few wraps. You need to do wraps. You can't just run it through it. Uh, the more wraps, the merrier. But three is, you know, two or three is plenty. Uh, just wrap it around like that, right? I tried this first with my wiring in there, and it worked just fine. And I, I figured I'd better go with the big one first, see how that works. And if I needed to stay with the big one, I'd stay there. But I started with this couple of wraps and that will then cancel out any radio transmissions that are going down the wire okay so that's the simplest one there with the big one and that's big that is uh, an inch in diameter let me get probably inch and a quarter quite honestly let's see what have we got here yeah yeah inch and a quarter so that's pretty big Use that probably on a, on a bigger application, maybe in a circuit board for radio or something. I don't know. I'm not a radio guy. Uh, i got enough knowledge and experience for my training in the service to be dangerous. Uh, at least that's what got me started. So, the solution that I put in there was the smaller one here. And this is pretty narrow gauge wire, but this is the wiring that's in my panel. And what I did is, again, a couple of wraps, but since I have two holes, I decided I'd just run the wire through each side. So ran it around a couple of times like this. Two wraps is easy. The third wrap was, was getting pretty tight. Uh, well, that kind of crossed over, so it'll be a mess in there. But nonetheless, I think you get the point. Um, run it through a couple times. Again, take advantage of that weak magnetic field to cancel out the radio signal. That's what we want to do. Try and make it nice and tidy. Right. For those of us that uh, have folks going to be inspecting our airplanes, uh, tidy counts for credit toward a job well done. So there we go. You can see I got that through with two wraps. And that looks pretty nice. And that's all I have in there right now. Same on this side. Again, I had just had black on one side, red on the other. And... Uh, you know, gets the job done, makes it look good. Oop, let me see here. Can get one more through there, small gauge wire. So, depending on your wire, you're going to have to find uh, the right size ferrite core to get the job done. Uh, let's see, can we get that through? One more wrap? Yeah, there we go. Just barely. It's cold. Crud. Snowed in here in Milwaukee. November 1st, and we've got frigid conditions, but hey, so there we have it. And that's all it takes is a couple of wraps like that, and that will cancel out the radio noise. And so in my instance, these ends went to the instrument, these ends went to my bus, and as soon as I put this in and installed it, the noise was gone. It's nice. So I'm sure all the, uh, the radio guys out there looking at this kind of going, yeah, duh, but hey, a lot of us amateur guys, amateur airplane guys, uh, we're, we're jack of all trades, doesn't mean that we necessarily know all the good stuff. So, there you have it. Quick, simple, easy. Um, uh, and that's Science and Surplus store in Milwaukee, if you want to order online, like I said, these are cheap. 
if you go to Amazon or other places, you're probably going to have to buy five or ten at a time, and you're going to end up with these laying around in your toolbox. Nobody <laughs> needs a whole bunch of these sitting around. So, um, yeah, it works like a champ. And, uh, you know, hit me up if you have any other questions. Can't say that I'll be able to answer them, but at least I can maybe point you in the right direction. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.